Good morning. Thank you for joining us today for this exciting announcement. <clears throat> I'm Patrick Talty, president of the Indiana Sports Corp. And during my time here at the Sports Corp, I've witnessed, first, witnessed firsthand the extraordinary it is to be a part of Indianapolis community and the culture we have built surrounding sporting events. Just in the past few years alone, we have hosted the NBA All-Star 2024 weekend, the College Football Playoff National Championship in 2022, and the entirety of the 2101 NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship. And let's not forget about the event we just finished yesterday, the Olympic swimming trials that just wrapped up where we named Team USA inside Lucas Oil Stadium for the first time ever in history a swim meet happened in an NFL facility and we broke an attendance record. Pretty exciting for Indianapolis. And we are gonna execute another incredible lineup of events and it starts today with the announcement of another groundbreaking initiative. I am surrounded by our friends and partners of the Indiana Sports Corp and representatives from the superstars of WWE and our community, and I can't thank you enough for supporting our mission in the Sports Corp all these years. So let's dive right in with this great announcement and help me welcome the 49th mayor of our great city of Indianapolis, Mayor Joe Hogshead. Well, good morning. Since Patrick has covered everything my prepared remarks uh, allow, I'll just start out by saying, Seth frickin' Rollins. I ain't gonna lie to you, Seth, I go back a ways. Um, in fact, it was 1979 that Indianapolis became the first city in the country to have a civic organization dedicated to building our city's sports future, the Indiana Sports Corp. In the years since, our sports strategy has continued to accelerate and elevate Indianapolis onto the world stage. As Patrick mentioned, the entirety of NCAA Division I men's final, or uh, the entirety of the tournament, March Madness. I would, I would assert no other city in the country could have handled the enormity of that task at a time of great enormity to our collective city, state, and world. The NBA All-Star Weekend, the National Collegiate Football Championship, the Eastern Conference Finals for our Pacers. And as Patrick said, these last nine days we've played host to more than 1,000 of the world's top swimmers for the U.S. Olympic team trials. We broke the world record for the largest indoor, indoor swim meet twice. And Lucas Oil Stadium cheered as two swimming world records were broken. The GOAT himself, Michael Phelps, said, all great racers come through Indy. And it is in that spirit that today's announcement makes clear. We're not nearly finished coming in first. It was announced earlier this morning that Indianapolis and Indy Sports Corp have agreed to a groundbreaking eight-year partnership that will include the Royal Rumble in 2025 and a future WrestleMania and SummerSlam. This type of partnership is the first of its kind for the WWE. As some of you may have discovered on social media last week, I am personally thrilled to see the return of WrestleMania for the first time since 19, 
92. I still have framed in my office the picture of me and Hacksaw Jim Duggan, where we were holding up specialized license plates. And of course, Hacksaw had his tuba, tuba four in hand. And he sends me an autographed picture. And he wrote on it, keep your board up, tough guy. That's kind of been my credo since then. As some of you may um, also know that we collectively are proud of our city and the fact that it is receiving the recognition that we deserve as Indianapolis, as the place where the world's greatest athletes leave it all in the stadium. Because time and time again, this community proves that we are the best at hosting high-profile sporting events. So with that, let me pass it back to Patrick for our next announcement. We're the best. Never forget that. And I would admonish all of you to keep your boards up, tough guys and gals. After decades of entertaining fans in venues all around the world, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and the Royal Rumble have gone from jam-packed arenas to massive stadium spectacles. It's TakeOver, go! Today, we're thrilled to announce that all three WWE mega events are rolling through Indy. In partnership with the Indiana Sports Corp, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, and WrestleMania are all making stops at the iconic Lucas Oil Stadium. Tell them, Pat. Oh, holy hell, the holy trinity of wrestling is going down in beautiful Indianapolis. Lucas Oil Stadium has hosted the Super Bowl, check. The College Football National Championship, check. The College Basketball National Championship, check. Olympic Trials, check. And of course, an anvil smash or two, double check. It all kicks off Saturday, February 1st, with the Royal Rumble. And I, for one, am seeked up. So, WWE Universe, I've got one question for you. Are you ready? Wow. If that doesn't give you chills, I don't know what will. I am excited and I am ready. As Mayor Hoxett mentioned, this partnership is truly groundbreaking. This is the first time in WWE history that they've made year-long partnership with the host city and a state. This eight-year partnership will bring dozens of events, not just to Indianapolis, but across the state. It'll also include events like Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and WWE Live events that will take a place in venues across the state, including places like Fort Wayne and Evansville. Truly remarkable. And as just announced, 2025 Royal Rumble will be here in Indianapolis, kicking off next year's road to WrestleMania, a very special time for all of the WWE Universe. And who better to talk about the importance of the Royal Rumble than the winner of the 2021 Royal Rumble, three-time WWE Women's Champion, the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. I'm on my own, against the wall. The pressure's building, but no, I will never fall. Hello, everyone. I am super excited to be here in Indianapolis. Uh, for those of you who may not know me, my name is Bianca Belair. I call myself the EST of WWE, which means I am the strongest the fastest, the roughest, the toughest, the quickest, the greatest, the best. All the good things that end in EST. <laughs> but today is an exciting day for WWE, but not just for WWE, but for the state of Indiana, which is the home of one of the most beloved members of our WWE family, Pat McAfee, who you just saw. But today is exciting because we are about seven months away from Royal Rumble 2025 that's going to be right here in Indianapolis. Now, Royal Rumble is very close to my heart because, like you just said, I was the winner of the Royal Rumble 2021 where I defeated 29 amazing women 
that were a part of our roster from the past, the present, the future. That's what's so amazing and exciting about the Royal Rumble. Um, but what's amazing about winning the Royal Rumble is that you get a guaranteed title opportunity at WrestleMania. So three months after I won the Royal Rumble, I went on to make history where I was a part of the very first main event of WrestleMania that featured two black women. And from there, I won my very first world championship title. And I also won an SB off of that match. So thank you. But the Royal Rumble is amazing because it can really change the whole trajectory of someone's career. That's what it did for my career. I had the highest of the highs. I had um, groundbreaking moments. I had history-making moments. I had career-defining moments at the Royal Rumble. And Royal Rumble is amazing. Now, I paused because I want to mention SummerSlam. But SummerSlam and I, we, we have a little bit of a, a love-hate history. It hasn't always been kind to me, but I'm excited for SummerSlam to be hosted here as well. But we're going to keep it on a high note. Royal Rumble will be here 2025 in Indianapolis, and I would love to recreate history. I would love to walk out as a Royal Rumble winner once again. But being in WWE, it's not always just about the stadium spectacles. When we come to your town, WWE, we want to shine the brightest light on your, on your city, on your state. We want to be involved in community events. We want to leave our legacy here, our impact here. We want to leave you with an experience like none other. So with that being said, WWE is super excited about this partnership. We would love to thank Patrick. We would love to thank everyone that is a part of the Indiana Sports Corp. And I hope you guys are just as excited as us because you're going to be seeing us very often for the next couple of years. So get ready. Thank you, Bianca. I would say you could add in that it sounds like we are the EST of host cities. That's all um, next, I'd like to introduce the founder and head of ventures with Sparkland Studios, a person who's passionate about WWE, and she's agreed to serve as our chair of our local rising committee for these upcoming events. Lauren Sparkman. Thank you, Patrick, for inviting me here today. I am thrilled to be here. Uh, today is a monumental day and one that I know will be meaningful to members of the WWE Universe here in Indianapolis and across the state of Indiana, myself certainly included in that. Recently, I've had lots of fun surprising people with my rekindled passion for professional wrestling. Growing up in Indianapolis, um, I'm a big motorsports fan, big basketball fan, of course, but these days, as for me and my house, we are full on WWE super fans. And I came about my love for wrestling in the same way I came up for my love in, in basketball and motorsports, and that is it was a part of our shared family experience. Growing up, I wanted to be around my big brothers, and my big brothers were watching professional wrestling multiple nights a week, and so I was watching wrestling multiple nights a week. And I know many others share stories like that. Just last night, my dad, who's here, um, was sharing memories of growing up a few doors down from Hall of Famer Dick the Bruiser on Kessler Boulevard and smiled as he shared memories of, of Dick riding his lawnmower in his wrestling boots on Kessler. And he also shared memories of, of going to armories in Terre Haute and across the state watching matches. So we have a great rich history of professional wrestling here in Indiana. And I've come to find that most people, when wrestling comes up in conversation, which lately for me is every conversation, most people have stories like that. Uh, memories of growing up watching with family members or recreating matches with friends and siblings. And those conversations, we've had some this morning, um, always end with smiles on our faces. For those of you who may not have engaged with the product recently, I can assure you it is just as fun and winsome and exhilarating as it's always been. But I can also tell you it is a global phenomenon. It is big, big business. World Wrestling Entertainment is truly the most unique sports property, sports and entertainment property on the planet. It's the epicenter of culture, and that's what makes it the perfect partner for us as a state as we look to the future of sports in Indiana. 
When we partner with WWE, we'll not only be working with a tremendous sports property, but also a world-class media company. These charismatic superstars who are both world-class athletes and world-class entertainers, and I can tell you we have two of the very best in the world here with us today. They create one-of-a-kind content with massive global reach. WWE has more than 365 million followers on social media, trends on X 52 weeks a year, has more than 100 million subscribers on YouTube, and has more followers on TikTok than any U.S. sports league. That's billions of impressions week over week. So we know the value of having WWE and its athletes broadcasting positive messages about Indianapolis is truly off the charts. But as a business owner who works with our city's brightest artists and creative entrepreneurs every day, the opportunities that excite me most about this partnership are the ones for our community, our culture as a sports city, and our creative professionals. The length and scope of this partnership will put our creative community in proximity to the best in class in sports entertainment year over year, and in turn, we'll have the opportunity to tell our stories in new and exciting ways. We'll build on our already incredible track record, as Patrick mentioned, as a world-class host city, welcoming the WWE universe to Indianapolis and across the state. We'll draw on our own rich wrestling heritage here in Indiana. And my personal hope is that we'll continue to build a vibrant community around the love of wrestling here in Indy. As I'm sure you can tell, I am absolutely over the moon to have the opportunity to help bring pro wrestling back to Indianapolis in a meaningful way for the fans, for our community, and for our creative class. And we look forward together to building the blueprint for this first of its kind partnership and stretching our imaginations of what it means to be a cutting edge sports city. Wow. Thank you, Lauren. Wow. Uh, talk about social media numbers. WWE is truly a leader in sports entertainment, and it's amazing their impact, as Lauren pointed out. And I can't wait to have that come through Indianapolis on a regular basis. It is going to be exciting, and I, look, I know the staff is looking forward to working with you, Lauren, directly on all of the exciting things we will have planned about how to welcome the universe every time they come to Indy. Next, I would like to introduce the Executive Director of the Capital Improvement Board, Andy Mallon, who has been our partner with this in, in helping us get this deal with the WWE. So, Andy. All right, this is exciting, folks. I know we've had a really busy week um, this past week, and I know we're, but this is one of the most exciting announcements I've been a part of. Um, just the, the importance and the records that we're going to set for attendance at Lucas Oil Stadium is something we're going to be talking about for generations. So I can't be more excited. So thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Mayor, for joining us today. Indianapolis is the greatest event city in the world. We boast a privileged history of hosting the country's largest and most important sporting events. The greatest spectacle in racing, the Indianapolis 500, the Super Bowl, Olympic swimming trials, college football playoffs and championship, the NCAA Final Four. And this history will only get better by adding the WWE and this partnership. Our city is built for events like this. The WWE universe will enjoy a walkable downtown, top of class venues, a booming culinary scene and an art scene, and a wonderful art scene. The renaissance of our wonderful downtown is underway with new amenities like this building, newly renovated Gamebridge Fieldhouse, the Bicentennial Unity Plaza just outside those doors. The 800 room, Signia by Hilton, Skyscraper Hotel, and Convention Center expansion, and other projects within walking distance from this spot worth billions of dollars in public and private investment. Indy loves the WWE, and we're going to love this partnership. It's the greatest event city, partnering with the greatest sports entertainment property in the world. The combined economic impact of the three premium live events, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, and WrestleMania for this city will be in excess of $350 million.
As noted, this, this event will be brought, these events will be broadcast both nationally and internationally. It gives the world a chance to, sh- to see that this city is such an exceptional place to live, work, play, and visit. We look forward to this opportunity to welcome the WWE universe from around the world to our city. And I know you'll be impressed with what Indy has to offer. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. As you mentioned, these are truly international affairs. WWE sees broadcasts around the globe, across the world, in several different languages. And those visitors will be here in Indianapolis enjoying the three mega live events that they will be having. And for over four decades, our sports city strategy has brought in millions of visitors and billions of dollars in priceless hours of international brand building and media coverage to show Indy on the world stage that it is the best place to live, work, play, and visit. And this partnership helps us continue to push that strategy forward in new and exciting ways. And to tell us a little bit more about that and about what's beyond what happens in the building, I'd like to introduce Karen Surratt, Executive Vice President with One America Financial, and and my Vice Chair of the Indiana Sports Court Board. Thank you, Karen. All right, thank you, Patrick. Um, Like many of you, I'm on fumes today, but walking in here and seeing all the excitement, you can't help but be excited and energized. So welcome to everyone once again. As you know, we just wrapped up the U.S. Olympic swimming trials, and as the co-chair of the LLC, I've been able to see firsthand the kind of impact that events like this can have on our city and our state. Not just the economic impact, but the positive community impact that helps our city thrive. Both WWE and Indiana Sports Corp are committed to making an impact on our Indianapolis community that goes beyond the major events themselves. They have agreed to partner on a legacy project that will be executed over the life of the partnership to benefit groups across the state. This ensures that the positive impact of this partnership is felt <clears throat> excuse me, long beyond the final bell. There's more news to come on the legacy project, but past WWE legacy initiatives have included Make-A-Wish Foundation, Special Olympics, Boys and Glo- Girls Clubs of America, and the United, United Service Organizations, or USO. This will, be a, this will be similar to the swim in safety program presented by Lilly that was created in conjunction with the US Olympic swimming trials. The goal of that program was to teach 50,000 Hoosiers to be water safe by the end of 2024. And we are currently well past the 30,000 mark. So let's hear it for that community impact. So beyond the wonderful events and the amazing people, Sports Corp, the volunteers that make all this happen, our community continues to show up. And Patrick, that's the sort of lasting impact that we hope to have long beyond the last bell. So back to you. Thank you, Karen. And as you mentioned, WWE has made a positive impact on communities across the world for decades. Having been a person who's been first in the front row to watch some of this impact, it is amazing and it is life-changing and it is meaningful. And we are excited to partner with them and other community organizations to make Indianapolis a stronger place. So now, and I'm really excited about this intro, um, I've known this uh, superstar for a while, Um, It's time to introduce someone who has countless memories with the WWE Premium Live events. He is a five-time world champion, winner of the Money in the Bank in the Royal Rumble, and someone who's made his return back to Monday Night Raw last week. We're really excited about that. So please welcome Seth freaking Rollins. Thank you, thank you for the, I think I got two introductions actually today. Needless to say, uh, I'm going to introduce myself a third time in case you guys aren't familiar. I am visionary, revolutionary, as these fine gentlemen said. I am Seth freaking Rollins. 
And uh, I have had the good fortune to be a part of WWE, an incredible organization, for nearly 15 years. I have traveled the world. I have been to every city in every continent. I've wrestled everywhere but Antarctica. But in my heart, I am a Midwestern boy. Uh, I was born and raised right up I-74 in Davenport, Iowa. I still got a home there. Uh, I've got a coffee shop there. I've got a wrestling school there. Um, and I'm always going to be a Midwestern boy, no matter what. You can't take that out of me. It's a very big part of who I am. Which is why I'm super excited that the Indiana Sports Corp and WWE have partnered to bring these events to Indianapolis. I remember as a kid, gosh, I had forgotten about WrestleMania 8, uh, 92, here at the Hoosier Dome. Actually, one of my favorite WrestleMania matches of all time, when the Macho Man, Randy Savage, beat the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, for the World Wrestling Federation Championship at that time. Uh, and I am very much looking forward to creating memories like that here in the city of Indianapolis, right down the road at Lucas Oil Stadium, where Gosh, I think my Bears are going to beat the Colts later this fall. <laughs> Look, I owe you guys one from the Super Bowl, all right? I owe you one. Um, we're probably going to lose, to be fair. We're probably going to lose. <laughs> um, with that said, the Royal Rumble's first up, right? Royal Rumble 2025. I have also, like my colleague Bianca Belair here, had the good fortune to win the Royal Rumble and parlay that win into a title match at WrestleMania where I won the third, I think, the third of my, my fifth world championships. Um, it's a very, very special event. One of the, the biggest events on our calendar and one of the most exciting events on our calendar. So I'm very excited to bring it here, like I said, down, down the road to Lucas Oil Stadium here uh, this year. Um, but that's kind of like the appetizer, man. That's like the... That's just the start, because WrestleMania is the big one, right? WrestleMania is the big one, and we're bringing it back, which is going to be fantastic. I, uh, I've had a few moments at WrestleMania, I think. This past year, main event at WrestleMania for the first time in my career, team with Cody Rhodes, took down Roman Reigns, and that was his, oh yeah, his cousin, The Rock. Uh, we, we had a hell of a tag match with those guys, and then Cody defeated Roman on night two of WrestleMania. Uh, to win the WWE Undisputed Championship. My most memorable moment, probably, in my career, 15 years, was at WrestleMania. I was able to cash in my Money in the Bank contract, which was in a nice, cool, gold little briefcase that I carried all over the, um, in the main event of WrestleMania to win my first World Heavyweight Championship. Um, and I am very much looking forward to creating more WrestleMania moments with all of you right here in the city of Indianapolis. Um, this isn't on the talking point list, but I do want to make mention, Indianapolis is kind of a special place for me. I actually made my WWE debut right here in this building, November 2012, um, at an event Survivor Series. So this place, even though I'm from Iowa and I'm partial, I'm very partial to your guys' city. I appreciate all the hospitality over the years, and especially right here today as we celebrate this fantastic partnership. I hope you guys had a great time today, and I hope all of you can make it out here tonight, Monday Night Raw, live tonight at the Gainbridge Fieldhouse. Thank you guys so much for coming. I appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Seth, and thank you, Bianca, for joining us today. You, you guys have truly given us throughout the years very exciting memories. Very exciting uh, moments that we will all relish. And I look forward to you guys creating those moments here in Indianapolis as we host these three large events. I also want to give a special thanks to Pat McAfee and Triple H for that awesome video and breaking the news this morning on social media. Uh, we are.
breaking our social media feeds right now. So we are excited. So the universe is excited to come to Indianapolis, I am sure. Um, hopefully you'll be able to catch Triple H on the Pat McAfee show starting at noon. Of course, that's also broadcast here in Indiana. Um, and that they'll talk about their thoughts on the groundbreaking partnership. And this concludes our press conference for this afternoon. Um, if you'd like media interviews, one-on-one -on -one interviews, our speakers will be able today over here with Dan. He's raising his hand in front of the selfie wall. So make sure you go see him. And I thank you everyone for coming. I thank you for supporting us and being excited about this partnership. Please come out tonight to Monday Night Raw to get excited for what you're about ready to experience over the next eight years. Thank you.